But that, in a nutshell, is why you go to a CrossFit gym. That's why you don't pay 20 bucks a month at that gym over there, and that's why you pay up to $150 to $200 at that gym over there. Yo, today I want to tell you why people go to a CrossFit affiliate. Like, what do you pay $200 for, upwards of $200 for, to go to a CrossFit affiliate? Why wouldn't you go to the place right next door and pay your $20 a month? Because here at Globo Gym, we're better than you, and we know it. I'm gonna tell you why. I know these things, and many of you know that I know these things because I was an affiliate owner. When I was an affiliate owner, they call it sales, they call it marketing, but I would have to tell people what it was we did here that made us able to charge up to $200 a month for our memberships, and then some. This is a big thing because a lot of people don't really understand. They say, I can go right next door, pay 20 bucks a month, and this place doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't matter! So I wanna address that. I wanna tell everybody why. Why is it so great to be in the CrossFit affiliate? So I'm gonna do this in reverse order. Number four, being something that's impactful, but not the most important. Then number one, the last thing I bring up being the most important. And I kind of just touched on it. It's the difference between the space, just the stuff that you see in the CrossFit affiliate. So number four on this list out of four is the facility. You go into a CrossFit facility, you look around and you're going to think something of it. You're either going to think it's awesome, which I did when I first walked in. When I first walked into an affiliate, I thought, wow, this is really freaking cool. It was during my internship. I touched on that before, but I walked in. I'm like, wow, this is the first time I've ever seen anything quite like it. 25 foot ceilings, big open space, garage door was open, all sorts of dumbbells, all sorts of kettlebells. There was a pull-up rig over on the wall, flags on the walls, rubber flooring everywhere. There was a dog. It was just super cool. Like, why is there a dog in here? Dogs are awesome. This is cool. Dogs aren't usually in gyms. So when you walk into the facility, you think something about it. Maybe you have a thought like, where are the bench presses? Where are the leg presses? Where are the leg extensions? Where are the bicep curl machine? That is the job of the affiliate owner or whoever to educate the person on what it is you're paying for. So it's like, hey, there's this six by six square. And in that six by six square, you're going to be able to get fitter than you've ever gotten anywhere else in your life with the things that surround that six by six square. You pull in the barbell, you pull in the kettlebell, you pull in the dumbbell. You don't even need those things, but you can do burpees, then you can do air squats, you can do lunges. We're gonna teach you how to do those things in this square. And that's something that's really hard to tell somebody who's just walking into the gym. It's something that you do end up realizing that you don't need very much to get in really good shape. You don't need a $10,000 treadmill. You don't need a $20,000 Stairmaster. You don't need a giant leg press machine. All you need is a square and some weights. And here we go, we can do quite a bit with that space. You can level the stuff up and you can make it look really clean. The cleaner you make this giant open space look, the better it looks. And it's actually one of the biggest downfalls of many affiliates is that they don't keep the space very clean. If you don't keep the space clean, it makes it hard to then bring somebody into this giant open space with nothing in it. And it is also dirty. And then you go, okay, I don't know why I would ever want to roll around on that floor. Yeah, sure, there's a dog in there, but there's also dog hair everywhere. That's gross. So if there is a dog in there, make sure you clean up the dog dog hair. Be on top of it. One of my favorite things to do was clean the place up. I would do it three or four times a week with my Zamboni looking thing. I got it down to a science, like 31 minutes through the whole thing and upwards of 1500 steps during the process of walking around. I put a headphone in, I'd have a good time. It's like mowing the lawn. You're done with it. You look around, you go, wow, this place looks freaking cool. And that's what you want people to think when they walk in and they look at your facility, which is in my opinion, one of the reasons and number four on my list about why people go into a CrossFit gym and spend their money opposed to anywhere else. Number three on the list, it's the methodology. It's the thing that we all took the level one certification for. So you take the level one certification, you learn all about it. You learn that they're constantly varied functional movements performed at high intensity. You learn that you want to eat meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, little starch and no sugar. They go through the, they go through the zone diet and I'm not all that well versed on the zone diet. I did it in the level one, but I've gone other routes with trying to teach nutrition, but it does work for somebody who needs some sort of conception about how to go about tracking their food. You learn about pathways. You learn about the oxygenated pathway and the glycolytic pathway. You learn about energy systems. You learn that with these things, the diet, the constantly varied, the pathways, you learn through the movements, the full range of motion, squatting below parallel, which is something that didn't really happen all that often before CrossFit. You learn that you can gain muscle. You learn that you can lose fat. You learn that you can live for freaking 10 extra years doing this stuff if you're doing it the right way. And you learn that it's the most powerful tool to offset chronic disease and get off pills and medication. And it all comes in a $200 a month or less sometimes package that is the CrossFit gym. Sometimes it's 150 a month. Sometimes it's 130 a month. It depends on where you are. But I say 200 bucks a month because I live in a biggish city. But I know there are places in the world where it's as cheap as 100 or cheap as 80 bucks a month. That's a topic for another day. But the method 
technology is number three on the list about why you wander in. And it's number three on the list because you don't need the gym to get the methodology. And actually a lot of people I know have been an affiliate for upwards of eight to 10 years. And at that point in time, they just kind of wander on their merry way and they do it on their own in their own garage. Kind of like I'm doing right here. I have all the methodology right up here. And if I don't have it up there and I don't remember it, I can grab it right in here. I got to go on. I got to pick something up, freshen up on some of the methodology, and we're good to go. I can go take another level one course, 1150 now. But that's okay. I can take the level two. I can do the level three. It's always with us. It's always there. It's always awesome. So this would be higher on the list if it weren't for things that you could probably take and go somewhere else and do wherever you want to do it. But the thing that is at the affiliate, the thing that you do need to continue to go there for is the coaching. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. So you go to a CrossFit affiliate, 150 to 200 bucks a month. I already told you, there's a square, there's a box there, right? And in that box, you can do whatever you want. But how do you know what to do in that box? You got a coach. You had a plethora of coaches sometimes. Sure, there are some bad ones, but most of them are pretty good. Most of them have the best intentions. Most of them know a lot. They know how to help you get better. So that's what the coach's job is. You want to go to the gym to get better. The coach wants to get better. And when you work in harmony with those two things, it's going to keep you there for a long time. It's what you're going to keep on paying $150 to $200 a month to do is to utilize the coaching. How do you do this? Am I going low enough? What can I do to help this? This is a little achy. There's a little pain in my knee. Well, it's like shift that knee out, sit back a little bit harder, make sure you're not squatting in your toes. Make sure you're not all the way in your heels. Lots of pressure through the whole foot. Keep your chest up. Big breath into your belly. Keep your back tight. All those things. Those are things that you need on a constant day-to-day basis for some people. And that's why you go to get the coaching. I know a lot of people who have been working with me for upwards of 10 years now at this point and still need the little cues because sometimes they forget. Sometimes it's not that they forget. Sometimes it's just they like the reminder. And sometimes these people just like to go have somebody watch over them. They want to be told what to do. They want the coaching. The coaching is very important. It keeps people going forever and ever and ever and ever. Coaching can make or break the facility. If you don't have any good coaches, and look, the, the thing about the CrossFit community is that the members end up knowing quite a bit. They want to absorb the knowledge. They are like sponges. <laughs> The more you give them, the more they're going to hold on to. And the more you give them, the better your coaches have to be. The coaches have to know more. That was a big thing I always tried to do. I tried to know more than the smartest person in the gym. And if I didn't know more, then I wanted to go learn about it. So at least I knew what they were talking about. I wanted to try the things that they tried. I wanted to speak from experience. I wanted to pull from other people's experience. Hey, lots of conversations give you a lot of knowledge on the topics. And I think that's what makes a good coach is understanding where people are, where they're going, where they've been. And then you can lead them to a path in which a discussion you have with that client, individual, whatever the coaching process that is to lead them to where it is that they want to go. And that only happens in an affiliate. That only happens with a coach. And that is why you pay $150 to $200. That's number two on the list. That was coaching. And number one on the list, I brought this up before, it's the community. So the community is a bigger rung on this than the coach, in my opinion. If you have a toxic community, it's not going to keep anybody around for a long time, no matter what. I call that the high school bullshit section. But if you have a great, thriving, awesome community where everybody loves everybody people could be there forever they might never leave they might never leave for the sheer fact that they don't want to lose out on this or that they like the halloween parties they like the thanksgiving get-togethers they like the crossfit open they like hanging out with everybody they like the groups that they go to in the 6 a.m class the 11 a.m class that you might have they get into a rhythm you become part of their family 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 you become part of their everyday life. When you do that well and you do that every day for a couple of years, then they never see themselves leaving. And if they have to go do something, maybe they even implement the fact that the gym was that important into their big life decisions. Like, I don't want to move there because if I move there, then I lose the gym. The gym is so important to me. And when you become that impactful on a person, it's going to make it really easy for them to say, all right, I don't care how much it costs to go here because this is this important to me. I'll give you $10,000 a month so I can go to your affiliate. That only happens if you run a really well community. You got good coaches. You understand the methodology you can put it out for everybody to absorb and take in the right way and the facility is something that is exciting for people to go to so those were right there all four rungs of everything i had talked about the community being the most important the coaching being the second most important the methodology being the thing that needs to be preached and then the facility being the first thing while it is still important it isn't as important as the other three so in an absolute perfect world i did sell cars remember And when you sell a car, you're not trying to say, hey, this car has 28 miles per gallon. Leather seats, check those out. Aren't those cool? 
It's like, look, it's black. Yeah, you like black cars? Get a black car. You don't do that. You try to sell an image. You try to sell an image to the people coming in. When people would ask, like, why would I spend this much money on your gym? You try to ask them questions about what it is that they want with their life. It's like, well, why haven't you gotten there before? What was holding you back? And a lot of times it's motivational. A lot of times it's just they don't know what to do. They didn't know how to get there. They didn't have a place to do it. And what you offer them is the picture to answer their questions. So you say, well, we have classes at this time. So every day you get off work, you can come on in. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I can go there at this time. Yeah, that makes sense. You got showers? Yeah, I got showers. Okay, I can take a shower and then I can go wherever I need to go afterwards. And then they didn't know how to do it. So you teach them the methodology. How do you teach them the methodology? You do so with the coaches, the coaches that you have so well educated that, and so well versed and so interpersonal that they can get a message across to anybody at any time. So this individual who now knows where to go after work, then and they can go to the gym every day after work and they can pick up more and more information on the methodology from your coaches. They get the coaching cues. They know that if they were to go anywhere else, they wouldn't have this high of a level of education from a coach. They wouldn't have eyes on them as highly talented as the eyes that you have at your facility, which is super duper clean. And they could see it every time that they walk in, how important it is to you to keep the place looking as nice as possible for them. And then they're going to do it with a couple of their closest friends, friends that they met at the affiliate, friends that they see every day at 5 p.m. Once they leave work and they hang out with their friends, maybe they get to know their families. Family. 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 Maybe they just look forward to doing things with them. They're like, oh, hey, I recognize that face. This is just such a good place to be. I get all of these good euphoric feelings from going to the gym at this time. And this is the picture that you need to paint for this person. It's going to look a little bit different for everybody. And that was a rather vague picture. But that, in a nutshell, is why you go to a CrossFit gym. That's why you don't pay 20 bucks a month at that gym over there. And that's why you pay up to $150 to $200 at that gym over there. And it takes a very special person to be able to do anything other than that. You look at the CrossFit Games athletes and they can do whatever they need to do whenever they need to do it. They don't need, they don't need a big community. Some of them do, some of them like it. Some of them make that rather apparent that they need to work out in a group, but a lot of them don't need it. Some of them don't need coaching. Some of them do need coaching. Some of them don't even use the methodology anymore. They say that they don't do CrossFit and yet they're the best CrossFitters. All they, all they do is bodybuilding and accessory work and long endurance aerobic work and then weightlifting on the side. Sure, you can say that's CrossFit, but they aren't doing Metcons. And some of them work out of a garage like me, so they don't need a CrossFit facility, although this looks like a CrossFit facility. This message is brought to you for the affiliate members. That's why I do the affiliate people, the 98% of people in the world, 99% of people in the world who ask the question, why would I go to that CrossFit gym? This is why if you are an affiliate owner or you do have interest in an affiliate, this, you send people this video and they say, hey, this is why you go watch the affiliate. Watch this guy scream at us in his garage as to why you should go join up in an affiliate. I hope you like this video. Again, at the end of the video, I'll tell you that this is why I do this YouTube channel. I want to talk about this stuff. And then I want 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 100 million thousand people to see this video. How do you get there? You get there through clickbait. You get there through current happenings. You get there through all the rah-rah bullshit that I talk about on the other videos. So yeah, I'm doing like one of these a week or so, but this is what's important. This is what I want to talk about. And I hope you enjoyed it. Andrew Hiller out.